Ooh, welcome back, Math Party people. Anderson here. Here's what we're gonna do now. So up to this point, we should have been able to have gone through solving regular equations. We should have also gone through solving systems of equations with substitution. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn the elimination technique because this one's also very, very, very useful, especially when you notice these conveniences. And so this is part one where we're gonna go over where we have only addition is needed. Then we're gonna go over it in the next video. So again, don't just watch this one and move forward. The next one that we're gonna put up is gonna be about, hey, what if we only need subtraction? But then we're also gonna notice in this next video, the third one, what happens in systems of equations where substitution isn't really an option and elimination doesn't seem obvious. So that's the third video. So again, go through the progression naturally. I'm gonna show you this first video here where you only really need to use addition to eliminate a variable. So let's go and get started here, my poor people. Let's have some fun, let's have some fun. So let me go ahead and show you right over here. Number one, I'm gonna rewrite this down here so I can show you all the work that we've got. So 10x, or negative 10x plus 10y equals 20. And then we have 7x minus 10y equals negative 20. So my poor people, here's the thing. Take a look at this system of equations and just think about what we're doing here. This video was called Systems of Equations Elimination. What does elimination mean? Elimination means kind of, well, taking out, right? Getting rid of. That's what elimination is. And so when you apply that here to systems of equations, we are going to eliminate or take out one of the variables. Which one do you think it might be here? Take a look. We have negative 10x plus 10y, and then we have uh, 7x minus 10y. Which one do you think we can eliminate? If you're looking at the y value, the y variable, you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Just take a closer look here. We're going to eliminate the y, but the question is how? So here's the thing, my party people. What we're doing here is we are going to combine the equations. We're going to add them together. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to add these equations together and we're going to have ourselves a good time. Here's how we're going to get it done. So look, when it comes to equations, remember, this side equals this side, right? Just a fact, right? That's what an equation is. This side over here equals that side over there. So if I were to go ahead and add these equations, if I were to add them together, if I add this with this side and this with this side, it's still true because remember, this is the same as this, technically speaking. And so you're allowed to do that. And when you do do that, look at what happens, everybody. Just take a look. You're going to have your negative 10x and your 7x combined because those will be like terms, right? But look at what happens here. You're going to have a positive 10y and a negative 10y. My party people, what happens when you add the same numbers but opposite values, opposite signs, like positive 10 and negative 10? Cancels out, right? Exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen here. If you were to go ahead and add these two equations together, you would eliminate the y variable in this case because you have the positive 10y and the negative 10y. So if you just add them together, boom, gone. And then over here, you got yourself negative 10x plus 7x. So that would end up giving you a negative 3x. You still have your equal sign. Then you have yourself 20 minus 20. Because again, you're adding. So 20 plus negative 20, which is the same thing as saying 20 minus 20, that's gonna be zero. That's gonna be zero. So if I just go ahead and use, I guess, red to denote that, that's gonna end up being zero. But notice how the y eliminates, and notice how you now created an equation with just one variable. And you can solve that now. You have negative three x equals zero. This is arguably gonna be one of the easiest ones you'll do today. And so we'll divide by the negative three on both sides, giving us, x equals zero. So booyah. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. We've got x equals zero, and in some problems, you're gonna have to go ahead and solve for the y variable, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that here. Although, the answer is gonna be c, because if you look, c 
is the only one where x equals zero. All the other ones have different values for x. But again, don't worry, we're gonna move forward now. I'm gonna show you how to solve for that y just one more time, and we'll keep going. Because just like with elimination, or substitution, excuse me, you can plug that value back in and solve. So whichever one you want, whichever one of these you want, I'll go ahead and use the top one. I'll just go ahead and do that here. And I'll get this done. So here we go, x equals zero. So we have negative 10 times zero plus 10y equals 20. So from here, zero times anything is gonna be zero. So that just cancels out nice and easy. So we have 10y equals 20, divide both sides by 10, giving you, bam, cancels out, y equals two. Nice and easy. We have x equals zero, y equals two. So our answer will be zero two. And there it is again. Nice and easy. That's a horrible check mark. So I'll go ahead and write another one that's nice and easy. But there you go. Are you starting to see the little pattern here when it comes to elimination? We are eliminating one of the variables so we can get the other one in an equation that we can solve. Let's try another one out here, number two. So we're gonna have positive 2x minus 12y equals negative 22. And then we have negative 2x minus 3y equals negative 23. Okay, let's go ahead and try this bad boy out, my party people, look at this. So again, this first video is basically showing you situations where you only have to add to eliminate the variable. In the next video, I'm gonna show you again how to use subtraction when you see that they're the same sign. And then after that, I'm gonna show you situations where you have to modify both equations. So in this one over here, 2x minus 12y equals negative 22. And then we have negative 2x minus 3y equals negative 23. So if you take a look at these equations, notice how positive 2x, negative 2x. If I were to go ahead and add these equations together, booyah, I would eliminate that x variable, leaving me with just y, and that's exactly what I want. So booyah, let's go and get that done. There we go. Let's add these equations together, and here we go. That x variable eliminates, and then we have negative 12y minus 3y. Let's go ahead and highlight those the same color. So we're adding, so a negative 12 plus a negative three is the same thing as saying negative 12 minus three, which is negative 15, negative 15y. Then up next, we have ourselves negative 22 and negative 23 being added together. That's gonna be negative 45. So at this point, we have ourselves negative 15y equals negative 45. Okay, sounds good. So what we're gonna get done now, my part of people is this. We're gonna go ahead here and divide both sides by negative 15, and we're good, and we're good. So now at this point, we just need to use a little bit of mental math or just know your multiplication tables to know what negative 45 divided by negative 15 is, and that's gonna be a positive three. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and there you have that. So do we need to do any more work here? Yes, we do, because we found that y equals positive three right over here, and if you take a look, there's a positive three right there and a positive three right there. So in fact, we can eliminate C and we can eliminate D, but we don't know what X is. Because the thing is, again, two of these answers have positive three as the answer for the Y. Let's find out what X is so we can pick the correct answer. Here we go. The way that you do that is just plug it right in. Plug in right over here, this Y equals three, plug that in into one of the equations. Any one of them works, does not matter, doesn't matter at all. So I'll go ahead and just choose the second one since we're dealing with smaller coefficients, it just looks like it's gonna be easier. So I'll have negative two X minus three times Y. And again, Y is three in this case, equals negative 23. Sounds great. Now let's go ahead and solve. Here we go. Negative three times three, that's gonna be nine. So we have negative two X minus nine equals negative 23. From here, solve it like a regular equation and you're done. We're gonna go ahead now add nine to both sides, nice and easy. Bam, gets canceled out right there. So we have negative two X equals negative 23 plus nine is the same thing as saying 23 minus nine, but just keep it negative. And so that's gonna be negative 14. And so here we have negative two X equals negative 14. We'll divide both sides by negative two. 
And with that said, that's going to eliminate on the left. Negative 14 divided by negative 2 is going to be positive 7. X equals positive 7. Booyah. And so my final answer, my party people would be 7, 3. 7 for the X, 3 for the Y, and we have that right over here. Positive 7 and 3. And some of my party people, I hope you're seeing this as doable. This is very doable, but remember, there's still more to learn. So let's go ahead and go through one more example. Then I want you to go forward to the next video where I'll show you how to use subtraction to get it done. And then I want you to try out those speed drills because after that, I'm going to show you the even harder questions with elimination. But you're going to learn that, again, it's all still very doable. I got you. So let's go to another one here. Let me find an example that I think would be uh, pretty convenient, I guess. So something like, well, let's try this one out. Number four. I think number four looks pretty convenient. So let's go ahead and check it out here. So I'm looking at this and which, va or which variable do you think we can eliminate? Just take a look. Which one do you think we can eliminate right away? I think it's going to be the x variable because you have a positive 7x, negative 7x. So if I add these two equations together, this x variable will get eliminated. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and get that done here. We're going to have ourselves 7x right over here plus 7y equals negative 7. Then we have negative 7x minus 8y equals 4. So if I go ahead and add these together, my party people, here we go. Add them together, and I see that what's going to eliminate, boom, x variable. You have the same terms, opposite signs. When you add them, they cancel out. Then you have positive 7y minus 8y, and that right here would give you negative y negative 1y or negative y, same thing. Then over on the, on the right side, we have negative 7 plus 4. That's going to be a negative 3. So we have ourselves negative 3 right there. Let me use a different color. These two right here, that'll give you negative 3. And so lastly, my part of people, we have to solve for that y. Negative y is not by itself. We need a y by itself, not a negative y. So the way that we're going to get that done is noticing that there's a negative on it. The way to get rid of a negative is by multiplying or dividing by negative 1. Or the shortcut way, if you've seen my previous videos, hey, look, if you want to get rid of a negative, change the sign on both sides. Super simple. And so the final answer here will be y equals positive 3. So any here, uh, when you look at the answer choices, do we have y equals positive 3? Right over here. Nowhere else. And that's it. Because again, it's the y that's, that's positive 3, not the x. So why right there? Not here, not there. So we don't have to do any more work. We're done, but if we wanted to, we could plug it back in. We could, but I'm not gonna do that since we don't need to. I think we've seen enough examples of me plugging those values back in. So I'm gonna go into this next example over here and I'll show you how to get, let's see if we can find one that's a little more difficult. I'll go ahead and do this one over here, number seven. So with number seven, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do my job, write these out, and I see that we can eliminate the x variable because you have a positive 5x there and a negative 5x there. So if I were to add those two equations together, yeah, the x would be eliminated, giving me just an equation with y that I can solve nice and easy. Here we go. So we're going to have ourselves 5x minus 5y equals 10, negative 5x plus 9y equals negative 2. Let's add these two together. And let's have ourselves a good day. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more, but mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice, just like this worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. Right there, knowing that we're gonna eliminate the x variable. And then we have ourselves right over here, negative five y plus nine y, that's gonna be a positive four y. We gotta make sure we know how to add, especially with the, when it comes to those negatives. So we're gonna have ourselves 4y 
equals, then 10 minus two, that's gonna be eight. From here, we'll divide both sides by four, and that's gonna give me y equals two. Booyah, right there, y equals two. So with that, when you take a look at the answer choices, you see that A is the only one where Y equals two. So you could say that that is the answer, but to just confirm, we're gonna go ahead and plug that two back in into one of the equations. I'll choose this first one, nice and easy. And so I'll do five X minus five times Y, and that Y is gonna be two, and that's gonna equal 10. And so from here, we'll go ahead, solve this, and we're set. Five times two is 10, so we have five X minus 10 equals 10. From here, we'll add 10 to both sides to get rid of it from here. Giving me 5x equals 20. Divide both sides by that 5. Giving me x equals 4. And so we have y equals 2 and x equals 4. So the answer is 4 comma 2. Confirmed again. And there it is. So with that set of math party people, again, a system of equations when it comes to elimination if you have the same exact coefficient, like 5x and then negative 5x on these equations, add them together and you'll be able to eliminate the variable. But with that said, what happens when you have, let's say, 5x and 5x? So there's no negative, just a positive 5x and a positive 5x, what happens there? And that's what the next video is gonna be about, my party people. So let's go ahead and get into that progression. I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna go ahead and keep learning about elimination all the different ways. I'll see you there. Let's keep having fun and let's raise that score. I'll see you soon.